Hi guys, and in this video I would like to discuss the topic about the cryptocurrency market because the last week was especially important for entire cryptocurrency market because there were lots of news, lots of facts. Uh, reports and today I would like to analyze the Bitcoin chat again so subscribe to the channel right now and check my telegram chat because the year I post the trading signals there I post more uh, more pieces of advice about the cryptocurrency more articles and there we also interact with each other we are creating the community of traders so do not hesitate and check the link in the description well let's quickly go to the prime XBT exchange and look Look at the Bitcoin chat because it's the number one cryptocurrency in the world. Well, let's look at the weekly chat and here we see that the current price is $23,000 per Bitcoin. It is very good in auction that we have put a local level here and now let's observe the daily time frame how it looks. You know, we can even look at the 4 hour time frame, I suppose. So here right here actually guys the price is trading here again and trying to bounce from this level and then go up here we see that on the four out time frame along the bollage bands we have reached the lower band and you remember that we go from top to bottom from bottom to top and vice versa perhaps uh, it is bouncing from the middle when we can fix on it for a while but let's see how wins will happen well there's an option even to go up as expected that the price really organized by the US FRS led to one time increase in the price of Bitcoin to the area of $24,300 to $24,247 on this exchange. Well guys, let me remind you that uh, all of this connected with the hike of the Fed's basis points. The main topics that Powell said the goal of FRS remains the same is the return of the CPI to the well of 2%. The current CPI is 6.5%. Uh, you know, actually, it's too early to talk about the stop and rate increase because, you know, the effect of the contractionary policy showed a very positive trend in the prices of goods, but not in the service sector. Further, it's planned to reduce the assets of treasury securities and the key factors for deciding on a further rate increase in the labor market and the price stability. And I want to remind you that the unemployment data was already released uh, last week. And the US unemployment rate fell to 3.4% and this is the lowest value, uh, the lowest level since 1960, guys, you know, it's more than 60 years ago. So what will happen next? FRS is thinking of revising the rate level as new macroeconomic data becomes available. And of course, then Paul said said that his forecasts and the forecasts of his colleagues show that there are no plans to cut rates uh, this year, but if inflation falls faster than their forecasts planned, they will adjust the expectations for rates. So the next decision of the FRS will already be announced on March 22. And as you can see, the macroeconomic level at this macroeconomic level, there are no real good events for the US economy as well as for the global economy. Let's go to the uh, daily Bitcoin chat. We can see that the price has bounced from the upper resistance level, this channel for resistance in the area from 24 to $25,000. And you know, actually, it's a very important channel. We already checked this historical value here. You can see that the testing was here. Uh, we tested this channel then went down below accumulation here to raise again and broke through it again on the impulse again it tried to test on it and fix on it but it failed then went down a little bit lower again to the area of twenty-three thousand dollars. and here the average moving of bollinger came to this value it bounced up from it as well as from this level it was already able to fix uh, in it for several days then tried to go beyond it but failed because it's like the impulse strength and flew back now of course history actually repeats itself we can see here the first value the first test it didn't work out there were small ones here but the most important line was here because this line appeared on the news that uh, frs released 
then we understand that macroeconomic data actually is very uh, related to the cryptocurrency because crypto and macroeconomics are already united as events in one sector affect the other sector in general and vice versa. Now there are no real economic indicators about the improvement of the situation in the world because it's inflation, unemployment, lack of real money to invest. And these are all global problems and now they prevent the entire market from growing. All over the world, actually, people discuss the possible stagflation and the return of the situation that was in 1970. Well, we are already seeing how the economic indicators of the world's main economy, I mean the United States, are falling below previous years. And well, let's study what will happen with Bitcoin. So we will extend this support line and here let's leave this uh, consolidating lever fall now. Well, let's predict possible events. Um, either we are going to this zone and we will be here for some more time. And if the price falls below the level of $23,000, for example, $22,000, then it will be already a movement to the $21,000 uh, level and the future fate will be decided here. Yeah? Or the price will move even lower and it will be the zone around 18, 19,000. But these are the negative events actually. If everyone starts buying uh, here and you know, actually most likely it's gonna happen because the greed is raging at the market right now. The indicator of greed is about 60. And this means that people really think it's high time to buy. And definitely they will be deceived somehow because as I've already said, there is no good dynamics at the macroeconomic uh, level. And the scenario that we're falling here can develop in two ways. Either this level kind of withstands like this current one does, and then we can bounce back from it and go back to test 24, 25,000 dollars for a Bitcoin. Here it will happen on impulse. Or here everyone will start buying and whales will start selling. Then we will see a downward movement because now here will be the main area. People are waiting for it. People are feeling FOMO. So if we continue to break through 24, 25,000, uh, then there is a high chance that we will fly even higher. It may of course take months. Most likely it is the scenario by the summer of this year. This will be a move to the $30,000 zone. But this moment will not be for the market to bounce further up because the economy will not change so quickly, you know? This is necessary in order to make everyone believe that the market has changed and a new trend has begun. But after that, there will be a high chance that we will just go down and break through and then this is 18,000 uh, level and fly to the very bottom that we have set on the weekly chart. And it will be $12,000 for a Bitcoin here. Here, this is the possible bottom. Therefore, you know, guys, it is very important to uh, have your risk management trade very carefully because as for me, I am fixing everything in the stable coin. And as I already said, um, if the price is at $22,000 and lower, I may go short, but I will need really to uh, look, to observe, or I will just go long. Uh, of course, on a small deposit and with a small leverage, but I'm still watching because I need to learn everything very carefully and understand everything correctly. So guys, it has been all about the cryptocurrency market, about the Bitcoin chats. Maybe you have your own thoughts about this situation, but my uh, recommendation is only one. Be very careful and trade very carefully. You have your risk management and this is the most important thing nowadays and just need to read the news, uh, the charts very carefully. So subscribe to the channel, write in the comments what you would like to uh, do with uh, next citations in the market, maybe have your own strategy and you want to share this strategy with us, maybe it will be uh, something interesting, something useful. So I am waiting for your comments and I uh, see you next time.